I'm going to make another video. Uh, this one will be about two dreams I've had, end time dreams. Um, in the one video, I'll start with this end time uh, one having to do with me, uh, personally. The other one doesn't. But uh, in this one, um, it appears that something, something catastrophic is taking place. I mean, like, totally, totally catastrophic. I mean, like, there's no people anywhere. Nobody is anywhere to be seen. Now, I take this to be in, like, my locality out here in, like, rural North Texas. Um, because, I, I mean, I, it, I'm in this home in this dream, and, uh, evidently I move place to place, house to house, because something has happened that's even dislodged me as well prepared as I am. Something, uh, has dislodged me from my house. So, uh, I, I look out the window and I see a bunch of ranch and farmlands, and it's like daytime when I look out the window, so, uh, something is happening, and I have, like, these caches of, like, food and, like, ammo and things like that, like, stored in different locations. Now, this is, like, out here in, like, rural Texas, north Texas, like, southern Oklahoma type area, so, uh, I'm moving from home to home, and, like, ranch house to ranch house, farm to farm, and, um, you know, there's nobody anywhere, nobody, everybody's gone, and I'm, like, thinking to myself, like, what happened to everybody? You know, like, what What the hell? You know, I mean, literally, what in the literal hell happened to everybody? I mean, it was, like, really bizarre and, 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 and pretty terrifying. So, um, you know, I'm wondering what happened to everybody, and everybody's just gone. So, uh, anyway, I'm sorry, I'm still kind of, like, blown away by it. Um, but there's, like, all these caches of food and ammo, like I said, and I'm moving place to place. And, uh, there's nobody anywhere, so something really major, major happened. Uh, it could have been war, uh, which I'm thinking it is. Uh, it could have been war, famine, starvation, roundups. I mean, it could be, like, any any number of things. Uh, mass die-offs from, like, poisoning in the food supply or, or, or starvation from not having enough food, you know? Even though there's, like, food everywhere around here. I mean, like, there's lakes and fishing and... and, and wild animals you can hunt or trap, I mean, uh, plants and farm, you know, farm plants that you can eat from, I mean, something happened, I mean, it, it, you know, and they can, and they can, you know, destroy things, they can sabotage stuff through, like, chemtrails, I mean, there's no telling what happened, but all the people were gone, it was a really, really dark and ominous sort of a feel to it, um, and I was obviously on the run or in hiding, something had dislodged me from my home, and I was moving place to place, I mean, I'm very well prepared, but... I mean, that's all you can do is prepare. I mean, I was, I'm very well prepared, but it got to the point that something made me have to move around, place to place, home to home, uh, area to area. And uh, basically, that was that was the gist of it. I was in hiding, uh, and I would move at night, and uh, I would hide in these different homes during the day uh, because something was out there and something I didn't want to, you know, bump up against. I mean, it was like uh, either an invasion force or... I mean, something had horrible had happened, and, and it was just a devastated, you know, sort of a feel to it, you know, like, because all the people were gone. Um, I don't know what was, what, what caused that, but it was, like, further in the future, I mean, from now. Uh, but probably not that much further, if you look at how things are going in the world. Uh, and then I had this other dream. Uh, now, this was just weird. I mean, this had to do with robots and things like that. You know how their Boston Dynamics has those, like, little dog robots and the people robots now? Well... This one, uh, it was like a TV commercial, like a newscast, and this newscaster was talking to our governor, Craig Abbott, of all people. I, I, I don't know what that had to do with anything, but Greg Abbott is like, um, yeah, um, well, we have these uh, concentration camp uh, flipping robots, and uh, we, we uh, you know, want to get these for, um, for our hospitals, you know, because we want to, you know, uh, show everybody that, you know, nobody's going to refuse this mark. You won't get medical care, and we'll send these concentration camp flipping robots through the hospital to flip you out of your beds. And it was doing like, it had like a rotating claw that would spin around, and it would, he said it works on all different beds, and he was grabbing bunk beds, the robot was, and it was like flipping these dummies out of it. And they said it's a concentration camp bed bunk flipping robot, so what are they going to do, roll it through like the concentration camp bunk houses and flip you out of your bunk if you don't go to your roll call, I mean, I don't know what what the hell it was, it was, it was diabolical, I mean, it was evil, but I mean, I just don't know if it's to show the cruelty of these people, that they come up with these, 
Satan satanic devices and like they talk about satan's devices we are aware of his devices literally and figuratively and i guess that dream was illustrating that but greg abbott was saying he was going to buy these robots to flip people out of hospital beds and everything and that nobody was going to refuse the mark of beast and this and that it, it was it was evil i mean it was just diabolical but those are my two newest weirdest dreams i've had that i just felt like i'd share with y'all y'all be blessed may yeshua bless and keep you all always